today I am going to my first official like college event, I guess. It's for UT. We are going to a Black Excellence event celebration and we are heading there now. I'm super excited and I can't wait to show you guys what we're doing. So what I would ask you to do when you make that decision, and if you make that decision to come to UT Austin, is to think about how you're gonna challenge yourself. Because that's a really important thing. As I said, it's this buffet of options that are out there. 
So you as a student who are thinking about UT Austin, I think the best way, you may have heard me say this before, the best way for you to be able to take advantage of UT Austin is to have in your mind, the goal is definitely graduation, but make your goal graduation from that terminal degree, whether it be a PhD, an EDD, a, 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 doc, a MD, um, lawyer, any of those things, make that your goal. Because when you make that your goal at the University of Texas, you will see that there are so many options there to support you along that path. Your families, your guardians are all proud of you as well. And well, well, I know that you're looking forward to the college, the college experience and getting out on your own. I can tell you that as a father, that after all your families have done for you over the last 18 or so years, while your families will miss you and worry about you, they're not 100% sad to me. <laughs> I did that for a couple of years, made me some money, but I wasn't passionate about what I was doing. I was at a crossroads in terms of my career. So I thought back to the math and business courses. Okay, make us proud. Y'all want to come up, our A admitted students to the front, yes, to cheer them on. So if y'all want to, there's not enough, you, you can sit if you want or if you want to gather. What we're going to do is split y'all, so our first four students is going to be Team Texas. And so if y'all want to briefly share your name, your high school, and then what major you've been admitted to. And maybe if you're also from that college or school, you can do like a woo for them. So I'll start over here. My name is Daniela Owens. Woo! Thank you. So I would say if y'all three want to come over here by Brandon and then we'll have y'all split. So what y'all are going to do is Brandon and I are going to read some questions aloud and then they are going to be shown in the slides as well so that all of our guests are able to see them. For guests in the crowd, please don't shout out the answers. We don't want any cheating allowed. But what y'all are gonna do is we're gonna read out the question and then we do have whiteboards for y'all here. So all the questions are gonna be multiple choice. And so y'all are gonna work together as a team to look at those different questions and then come up with the answer. We're gonna deliberate separately so no one else takes your answer. Um, so our first one. Uh, we're gonna talk about education abroad here. Um, and you see, right? Y'all remember that education abroad? Woo! Shout out to whoever screamed over there. Yeah. Um, so, your question, like, so these are hopefully hard enough where, like, I wouldn't have known. So, hopefully, y'all will know if you just know. You got my a star in your group. Alright, so in which country does UT Austin have the most education abroad programs? Spain. The correct answer is Spain. Oh! So we have a point for our, our team on the, my left, your right. <laughs> so, you know, we really just open that space for them to ask those questions that 